Aloha again, beautiful souls. It's Karina coming to you from Hawaii. I'm going to adjust my camera because I'm going to show you some things today about EFT or tapping. If you don't know what EFT is, it is the emotional freedom techniques that are used. And they're like an alternative to acupuncture to restore balance. And they're based on the meridian system or meridian points, which are... Um, from a belief in traditional Chinese medicine of the pathways or points through which energy flows throughout our body. So I just started tapping three days ago and added it into my routine for healing on my thought of body dysmorphia, my personal thoughts that I have and the personal journey and the path that I'm taking to healing myself from that disorder and what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I've added tapping to it. So I am including um, the link to Jennifer Partridge is who I'm using. And she is also, I'm gonna try to find it. I've got, I found her information the other day and it actually, I think came in an email. I'm subscribed to Mind Valley. And it was speaking about how to heal emotional trauma. And I know that's kind of linked to what the, you know, causes of the BDD or body dysmorphic disorder. So I clicked on the link and watched this video. And it was like I was in tears the first one I did and the second one. The third one I did today, I wasn't crying. It seems like I'm already growing emotionally. But... I will try to find that original link, which leads you to a course that Mind Valley is offering with Jennifer Partridge and with many different details and steps and over many days. That I don't remember the cost of that. Some it was a special at two ninety nine, so I don't know if that that price raised, but I'm also going to include the link in the description for the same person that's doing the course, Jennifer Partridge, her, her YouTube channel, which she does leads you through these techniques for free. And that's the way I'm doing it. I'm not paying for the course. I'm trying to do this with low or limited cost for me. And I found the same thing. And I did a little research first on tapping to see what it was and that I shared that with you. And I will talk to you about the points that um, Jennifer goes through in her video so that you will know what to expect. She, the different points are um, underneath the collarbone, in the center of the chest, between the brows, on the temple areas or beside your eyes, underneath your nose, in your chin, below your lips, above your chin in that space there. Then, um, did I talk about underneath the ribs, the side of the ribs? Again, I don't want to leave out the chest. And then the top of the head, okay, she'll tap around the top of the head and around the head. And then she also talks about points on the side of the thumb, the side of the hand, and then tapping on the fingers. I tended to do all my fingers. I think she does just one finger point and she does like the, the three fingers and then she changes to the other side to tap on that and also the outer pinky. So there is some hand work and I think the wrist, but those will be what, you know, if you're trying tapping for the first time and you want to try it, I'm using tapping to heal the inner child. You can see when you check out her channel, she has for many other things. A lot of times I had seen, I had never tried tapping before because I had really seen it used for manifestation. I may have done it once or twice and really hadn't focused too much on the healing um, purpose of tapping. So I have lately, and it seems to be really working for me. I've just had a brighter days and better days and just filled with smiles and just a general well-being, a sense of uh, inner well-being more so than I have had for a long time. You know, I'm one who always tries to be positive and loving to everyone every day more so than I ever did myself. And now I'm just turning that in 
to that love and kindness and generosity that I always talk about giving to others in abundance, I'm turning back to myself, which I guess that's really where if you want to become your best self, you have to focus on yourself and heal any past wounds or any negativity that you're holding on your body or in within your energy, within your body, you know, release that. And I believe that's what tapping is doing for me. So I've added it to my daily routine with my journaling, with my walks out in nature, with my um, meditation, and now tapping. And I wanted to also say one thing I'm really trying to do besides the tapping is to as I walk by, you know, I've always had this issue with mirrors, and I've mentioned that when I talked about in my first few videos where I couldn't even have a mirror around me because it was just like too much for me to see myself in a mirror because of this criticism that I had of myself. So now, though, what I've done instead of really obsessively looking in mirrors and seeing all my faults what I'm doing is when I look in a mirror I am now talking positively to myself and changing my words and instead of having those inner words that were you know you're so old you your wrinkles no one would want you you know people aren't going to take you seriously you know, what do you think you're trying to do? You know, it's all these things. Or if I looked at my body, it would be like, look at that fat. And, you know, oh, you're so flabby and your skin's not toned. I'm changing all those words and really making a conscious effort to speak kindly to me with love. So instead of those things that I used to say, I'm now saying, wow, you look gorgeous and you're so beautiful. And look how good you're looking and you're just doing great and your eyes are so bright and your smile is beautiful and look how toned your body is getting and wow look at the improvements you've made and you should be so proud of yourself and what a great job and I'm really giving myself those words of current uh, uh, encouragement that I had been lacking for such a long time you know I would give those to other people but never really turn that attention into myself so I'm trying I'm starting to do that and adding that into just sort of a daily way of being and I really feel a difference I feel a difference in everything I'm doing I feel a difference in the tapping techniques um, I see my journal like I said I've been writing the affirmations in I am worthy I am lovable I am happy with my face and body I am healthy and healed I love myself I love me I am goddess energy all those daily affirmations I'm writing down have been since I've started this journey to healing myself from whatever this body dysmorphic disorder has put on my body and my shoulders and inside my body I want to get it all out of there and release it and be free of it and become this new version of myself that I've been working so hard to manifest and this is the last little piece to the puzzle on my inner growth so I'm doing whatever I can do to heal and I'm sharing everything that I can so that if you're being, if you're faced with any kind of body dysmorphia or um, the body dysmorphic disorder or any kind of criticism of self that you can use some of these techniques too in your journey to healing. Now I want to remind you that I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a retired um, school teacher, public school teacher. And I am doing these things for my own personal journey and my own disorder. But I want to share how it's going with you so that if you are feeling the same or facing the same kind of issues in your life, you can maybe use some of these techniques and get help for yourself. You know, it's funny. I read something yesterday on Facebook, and I don't know how true it is, you know, because you see all these posts and these ads and the things people share. And, you know, I don't realize if they're real or not. You don't really know. But it was a teacher, I believe, or someone talking about how kids got their school pictures back. And they were very upset of the way they looked because, you know, a filter wasn't used. If you ever know what school pictures are, they're really not the most flattering. They just tend to be the lighting. And it's just like a 
you know, one after another, it's like an assembly line. So they're not really made to be all that flattering. They're just taking a, a snapshot of that day, uh, that little second of a day. And I think this little write up or post was saying how the kids were very upset and crying and how they look because we've gotten so used to filters through, you know, the different social media platforms and through your camera and how that just kind of smooths out the edges. So I think we're going to be seeing so many more um, occurrences of BDD STEM in as these children grow up into adults and maybe this video will help somehow. Maybe it'll help you as a parent. Maybe it'll help you as a sufferer of any kind of body image distortion and allow you to heal and get past those feelings inside yourself because they really are coming from inside ourselves and we need to change our conversation with ourselves so that we can become the best that we can be and you know fulfill what our soul's purpose is in this lifetime and I want to remind you again to be loving kind and generous to yourself as well as others because when you are Boy, that just brings those things back in abundance. And I know you can do this. I know we're, you're capable of it. We are capable of such amazing things when we put our minds to it. And when we set that intention within ourselves, it's amazing what we can do. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hope these videos have helped you. And until the next one, I send you all the love and positive energy from Hawaii. It was such a glorious and sunny day. And now it's overcast. And probably going to miss. We've been in the clouds for a few days, which is great because we need all the rainwater we can get for the water tank that supplies all the water to our household. So I look forward to cloudy days as much as I do the sunny beach days here in Hawaii. Anyway, aloha again, beautiful souls, and I will see you in next video.